photosynthesis, many reactions take place, but the overall process can be summarized by a chemical equation which states that the combination of carbon dioxide, water and light energy produces glucose and oxygen. Photosynthesis consists of two stages, the light-dependent reactions, which take place in the thylakoids, and the light-independent reactions, known as the Calvin cycle, which takes place in the stroma. The light reactions convert solar energy to chemical energy, and this is made possible by the two photosystems that are located in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast. The two photosystems are named in the order of their discovery. Photosystem 2 is the first light capturing complex, and photosystem 1 is the second light capturing complex. Each photosystem consists of a light harvesting complex, which is made up of a group of pigment molecules surrounding a reaction center complex. The reaction center complex consists of an electron acceptor next to a special pair of chlorophyll molecules. When light strikes one of the chlorophyll pigment molecules in the light harvesting complex, it excites an electron to a higher energy state. That electron then drops back to its initial state, which releases energy, exciting an electron in the next chlorophyll. Thus, the series of pigment molecules in the light harvesting complex creates a pathway to the reaction center complex. The pair of chlorophyll molecules found in the reaction center complex of photosystem 2 are known as P680 because these molecules are best at absorbing light at a wavelength of 680 nanometers. When the energy being relayed in the harvesting complex reaches the P680 pair of chlorophyll molecules, it excites an electron to a higher energy state. This electron is transferred to the primary electron acceptor, resulting in a positively charged P680, denoted as P680+. An enzyme catalyzes the splitting of water into two electrons, two hydrogen ions, and an oxygen atom. The electrons from this reaction are transferred to P680, returning P680 to its initial state. The oxygen atom combines with another oxygen atom to make oxygen air, and the hydrogen ions are released into the thylakoid lumen where they create a proton gradient that will be used to form ATP by the process of chemiosmosis. In photosystem 1, a process similar to that in photosystem 2 captures light energy and transfers it to a primary electron acceptor. The reaction center chlorophyll molecules in photosystem 1 are referred to as P700 because they most effectively absorb light having a wavelength of 700 nanometers. Light energy is transferred to the reaction center exciting an electron in the P700 pair of chlorophyll molecules, which gets passed on to the primary electron acceptor. P700 is now referred to as P700 plus and it can accept electrons that come from photosystem 2. The excited electrons from the primary electron acceptor of photosystem 1 are then passed in a series of redox reactions to NADP+, which also takes hydrogen ions from the stroma to make NADPH. NADPH will be used later in the Calvin cycle. Earlier we learned that the water splitting reaction that takes place in photosystem 2 results in the pumping of protons to the thylakoid lumen. This then results in the production of ATP by chemiosmosis. Chemiosmosis is the movement of charged particles, protons in this case, across a semi-permeable membrane down the electrochemical gradient. This chemical potential is used by the enzyme ATP synthase found in the thylakoid membrane to generate ATP from ADP. Hydrogen ions diffuse down the concentration gradient and this is coupled by ATP synthase to the phosphorylation of ADP resulting in ATP synthesis.